Alright guys, welcome back to your 8th XHTML and CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be finishing up talking about links. Now, we need to cover two last things. One is how to make a link to an email address, and the second is how to make something called a tooltip, which is pretty much when you hover over the link, a box pops up showing what, you know, it can say anything you want. You'll see when we get there, but first, let's learn how to create a link to someone's email address. And these may be useful on the contact us page or, you know, um, well, you'll see. So let's go ahead and make a link that says email Bucky. So that's going to be the text on the screen. So now what you need to do is for that href, let's just go ahead and set that equal to someone's email. So you might think that it's just as easy as writing an email in here like bucky at yahoo.com but it's not what you need to do is before you write their email address you need to write the keyword mail to with a colon oops not mail tp not mail toilet paper mail to there you go so let's go ahead and uh, save this and see what happens refresh and go ahead and if you click this then your default you know whatever your email program is pops up and I didn't set mine up yet but if it was set up then it would you know get ready to email Bucky so that brings me to another point this is why I don't like or recommend linking to people's email if you wanna give someone your email on a website just go ahead and write it in plain text then they can copy it and paste it into their email editor or what's it email program whatever cuz I use like yahoo.com you probably use like gmail or something so whenever I click this link I don't want outlook to pop up ever because I hate outlook so anyways just keep that in note keep your users in mind whenever you're designing a web page but anyways recapping one last time whenever you want to create a link to an email which I don't recommend but anyways you need to write a href and as the address write mail to and then their email address if you go ahead and just write their email address it won't work let's watch what happens refresh and click and it gives us a bunch of errors so that's why you need that little mail to thing in front of it so that is how you create a link to someone's email address simple enough even though I hate it so the last thing I want to cover is how to create one of those tool tips and that's this let's go ahead and create a basic link to Google first so a and let's go ahead and end it the text is going to be Google and the destination is going to be href equals HTTP google.com so this is a link to Google let's go ahead and check it out run launching Chrome when you click it it links to Google easy enough but what I think would be a good idea is when you hover over it a box pops up telling you you know maybe giving you some more information about Google so let's just go ahead and learn how to do that right now you know how I said that sometimes tags need something called attributes which give them more information about that tag well not only does the a tag have a href attribute but it also has a title attribute so if you take the title and set it equal to you know awesome search engine whenever we save this and refresh it now look what happens when we ho hover over Google it says awesome search engine as the tooltip so that is how you create a basic tooltip um again you can put more than one attribute inside a tag just make sure that they're not touching each other and it's the same format as before the attributes name and set it equal to whatever you want so that is how you create a link to Google with its tooltip tooltip I did and uh, you know your video is not skipping I actually was just stuttering so that is how you do that now you guys know basically everything you need to know about links so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to uh, you know watch the next tutorial because that isn't all there is to web design there's a ton more stuff we have to cover so anyways one last time thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later